In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to set up the mobile cake wallet and use it to store, send, swap, and explore cryptocurrencies like Monero XMR, Ethereum ETH, and many, many more. So before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, and let's dive straight into it. And here we have it, my friends, we're over on the Cake Wallet website. Now, as you know, this is going to be a mobile tutorial. Unfortunately, they do not have an extension for the browser yet, but maybe in the future they might have one, hopefully in 2026 anyway. However, this is a wallet trusted by over 1 million users where you can store the biggest and best cryptocurrencies, and it's got all the features that you would ever need. So, in a second, you're going to see my mobile phone pop up because we're now going to get ready with the tutorial. Which you can now see once you search for Cake Wallet, you'll be able to see the Cake Wallet application. It's been rated 4.7 out of 5, which is absolutely fantastic. Go through all the features, check it out if you're happy with it. Then, once you're ready, if you want to get it, by all means do so, just like me. Next, we're going to open up the application. As you can see, we are prompted to sign up. So, down the bottom, we are going to set ourselves a nice little pass pin. Then, I'm going to very simply do it again to confirm that it's the correct one. Then once you've done that, guys, as you can see, we are now here to either create or restore a wallet, meaning that you've already got an existing wallet that you would already like to use on Cake. Nonetheless, I'm going to go with the new option, which is going to be create new wallet, of course, meaning that we're going to start from scratch. And guys, we're going to choose the cryptocurrencies that we want to use for our wallet. Now, it doesn't matter. We can come back to this at any time later on. However, if you wanted to focus on Monero XMR, which may probably be the primary choice for most, you would very simply select Monero XMR, Ethereum, whichever ones that you want. You can select just one for now. So I'm just going to choose Monero. After that, as you can see, you're going to set a little name. It can be anything. It could just be the letter T. Next, once that's done, you just very simply choose how you want to secure it. I'm just going to go with Polyseed 16 words. Choose English advanced settings if of course you want to do that guys and then after that we go through with the steps and boom now this is the most important part of setting up a wallet guys any wallet that you will set up in any any network it doesn't matter guys this is extremely extremely important that you secure this very very safely so this is your seed phrase guys and of course this is the password to your entire wallet and therefore you must you must secure it very safely it means storing it offline not storing it anywhere online please do not write it on an email on your notes or anything powered by electricity Honestly, I can't stress how important this is, guys, because I really don't want you to mess up. This has to be done properly. You need to write them down all in correct order, all with correct spelling, and making sure that you triple check them, and of course, storing them in a safe location, only where you know it's going to be. So please, guys, store this offline. Do not store this online. Write it down properly. And then once you've done that, you then want to continue because you're then going to need to verify that you know all your words, which as you can see is asking us to verify our ninth word, which for me is going to be keep. After that, what is the 12th word? Ivory. And then as you can see, guys, that is verified and we can now continue. If you need to see it again, you can very well do so, guys, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. As long as you've got it secure right now, I would leave it. Don't touch it. Don't show anyone. Secure it safely. Do not write it on any electronic device, like I said. After that, as you can see, guys, we are now ready to begin. And you can see here that we've got a balance of zero. So the next step is to very simply get some cryptocurrencies into our wallet. So whether or not you can get Monero XMR directly into your cake wallet already, fantastic. If not, many people will struggle just like myself because it might not be very easily available. Therefore, we have a few options. So first of all, you can buy directly on the Cake Wallet by utilizing their on-ramp option, which is absolutely fantastic. So in the bottom right corner, you can see the buy method. Then you can see you choose your fiat amount and you can choose which cryptocurrency that you want to buy off the bat, whether or not that's XMR, Bitcoin, ETH, Litecoin, Doge, or whatever it may be. You can see many cryptocurrencies to choose from, which is phenomenal. So all you would do is, guys, very simply do it, then choose your method of which you want to pay it, and boom, you've got yourselves cryptocurrencies of whichever choice that you wanted to do. That is completely up to you. After that, guys, we've got another method of which is now depositing from a centralized exchange or very well another wallet that you may have. So, for example, if you go to the receive section, you can see here that you can switch it from XMR if you know that you've already got XMR tokens. Or, for example, you can switch it to any of these currencies, as you can see, could very well be fiat currencies as well. However, what we want to do is because we've only got an XMR wallet, which we can see here on Cake, what I'm going to do is go to wallets on the bottom left corner. Next, as you can see, we're going to create a new one. Then I'm going to choose Ethereum. I'm going to continue. 
After that, choose a name. It could very well be ETH, whatever you guys want. After you've done that, understand, follow the same process as we did with Monero. Secure your phrase. Then as you can see, guys, very simply do the same thing with the verification of words. Then once you've done that, as you can see, we've now got all these tokens here available in the Ethereum wallet. So if you now go to wallets, you'll be able to see that we've got Monero and our ETH wallet. So what I want to do is now get myself some ETH tokens into my cake wallet. So then I can very simply swap Ethereum tokens into XMR. Therefore, whether or not you want to deposit Ethereum tokens, Monero, Bitcoin, it can very well be replicated exactly the same. You just choose your token, which for me is going to be Ethereum. As you can see, this is my wallet address. Then, like I said, you can also use a desktop wallet or another wallet you may have to send Ethereum tokens to the cake wallet. Or you can use centralized exchanges like crypto.com, for example, where you can very well head over to your exchange. Then you very well head over to where you've got Ethereum tokens. Then once you're on your Ethereum, you can see here, guys, that you can withdraw. Then once you hit withdraw, you can send to an external wallet. All you would do is very simply click a new wallet. Then as you can see, guys, you would just paste the wallet address, which is going to be your cake wallet one. Boom, once you've done that, guys, you just very simply fill in the details and send the tokens. You can do that whether or not that's Ethereum, Bitcoin, Monero, whatever currencies are available on Cake Wallet. You can very simply deposit straight to your Cake Wallet by following these steps. So now that you've deposited Ethereum tokens or whichever tokens into your Cake Wallet, as you can see, I've now got myself $23 worth of Ethereum tokens, aka 0.008 Ethereum tokens. From here, now that we've got assets into our wallet, that's the primary first step. And like I said before, guys, I wanted to focus on getting Monero XMR. So this is where we move on to the next step where we show you how to swap. And that is very simply by going down to the bottom where you can see the swap feature. And we're now going to choose some of our Ethereum tokens, which you can see up top. And I'm going to choose an amount. So whether or not that was half the amount or 5% or 10% or the whole amount, it's entirely up to you. But let's just say I did a minimum of 0.004. As you can see, guys, it's going to get me 0.026 XMR tokens. And I want to send it to a certain address. So you can either A, get your copy to clipboard, B, scan a barcode, or C, go to your contacts, which you'll be able to see here. We've got T, which is the original wallet that we set up in the first place. Amazing. So now that we've done that, guys, we can very simply hit swap. Boom. After it's done that, you can see here, please copy or write down the trade ID to continue, which is exactly what we're going to do. After that, by pressing send, you confirm. Thank you very much. Send from Cake Wallet. Boom. Swipe to send. After that, transaction sent. And that's how easy it is. Now, all we need to do is, guys, just wait for the tokens to appear into XMR in this wallet that we've set up. And guys, of course, as you know, it will probably take a while because, of course, the Ethereum network needs to process the swap and then it needs to, of course, bridge it over to XMR. However, the Cake Wallet does process that. But the cool thing is it's very simple. It's very easy and anyone can do it. And therefore, you know exactly how to do it because you've followed this simple step. Now, while we wait for our XMR tokens to appear, I just want to show you in the app section, just above the swap section where it says home. On the left of that, we've got the app section. Here, as you can see, guys, we've got cake pay. So it enables you to get yourselves gift cards, X, Y, and Z, as you can see here in select countries. If, of course, you're able to do it and want to do it, by all means, you can. There are plenty that you can choose from. When I mean plenty, I mean plenty. After that, guys, you can see that we've got Nano GPT. And Nano GPT is all the newest models of GPT-4, which is ChatGPT, and Claude, where you can use crypto to access it. If, of course, you want to do that, it's a separate platform. So, of course, it's going to take you elsewhere. Nonetheless, after that, guys, you've also got the sending and receiving feature. So, basically, simply sending tokens to other friends, whether or not that's XMR or whether or not that's Ethereum, Bitcoin, whatever it may be. You can send cryptocurrencies very simply by placing an address. You just paste the address. Boom. Next, after that, choose an amount. And then, guys, send a little note if you want to do that. And that's how easy and simple it is. From here, we've now shown you everything that you can do on the Cake Wallet. I just want to show you guys that it says here on the XMR Wallet, it says unconfirmed balance and available balance. Now, what this means is, as you can see here, the available balance or confirmed balance are funds that can be spent immediately. If funds appear in the lower balance, but not the top balance, then you must wait a few minutes for the incoming funds to get more network confirmations. After they get more confirmations, they will be spendable. 
This means, guys, basically we're just waiting for Monero to process the transaction. Very simply, no problem whatsoever. And I absolutely love this wallet so far, guys. It's made it so simple to get my hands on Monero XMR. Nonetheless, this is the Cake Wallet tutorial in a nutshell on mobile for beginners. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can let us know in the comment section down below. And now, guys, this is how you get the privacy token Monero XMR on the Cake Wallet and any other cryptocurrency you like. Friends, thank you so much once again. We appreciate every single one of you. Happy 2026 all around. And guys, we'll see you in the next one.